Hello and welcome to the knee scale anatomy. We're gonna start off with our bones here. So right here we have our femur, we have our patella, we have our tibia, and our uh, fibula. Uh, next we're gonna do our ligaments. So starting with ACL or anterior cruciate ligament, um, it's gonna go, it's gonna be located at the front. You can't actually point it out because it's on the inside, but it's gonna originate on the medial aspect of the lateral femoral uh, condyle and it's gonna go down uh, to the intracondylar area or um, to put it in um, broader terms, it's gonna go from uh, the medial side uh, across down to, um, sorry, from the medial side of patella, uh, not down, but up and um, towards the lateral side of the femur. Okay, next we have our PCL, which is gonna be on the back. So our PCL is simply gonna go down from um, lateral down to uh, medial uh, aspect of our knee in the back. Okay, we can flip back. Okay, next we have our MCL. MCL is going to be located on the medial side right here and it's going to originate at the uh, medial epicondyle, which is this bump right here, and let's go down to the pacensorine, which is going to be located, let me find my home base here, pacensorine right here. So it's going to go from the um, from the uh, medial epicondyle down to the uh, pesenserine. And here we have pesenserine is going to be located on um, the medial, medially from our uh, tibial uh, tuberosity, which is right here. Sorry, that's the patellus, the tibial tuberosity. Okay. Next we have our LCL. LCL is going to be on the lateral side. Uh, again, just like the medial one, it's going to start not on the medial, but this time on the lateral epicondyle femoral epicondyle and it's gonna go down to the head of the and let me find this bump for you guys the head uh, right here of the fibula so from the um, lateral epicondyle down to the head of the fibula and that's our um, LCL which is lateral collateral ligament next we have uh, our <laughs> the patellar belt which is our lateral and the medial patellar femoral ligaments. Uh, so we're gonna have the lateral one right here and the medial one right here. Uh, and they're basically gonna strap patella together and hold it in place. Okay. So next we have the landmarks, starting with the most important one, the tibial tuberosity um, right here. Next, we're gonna go uh, laterally and we're gonna find our Gerdy tubercle, which is gonna be a bit up uh, and out. So here's a Gerdy tubercle, uh, tibial tuberosity, Gerdy tubercle, and going even further laterally, uh, we're gonna find our head of the fibula right here. And this is our home base. Uh, they can form a triangle like this. Um, yeah, uh, there you go, that's those three. Next we're gonna have our lateral tibial patel and medial um, uh, sorry, not lateral tibial plateau and medial tibial plateau. Both of these are, we're going to be able to find out with the patient's knee um, bent at 90 degrees, which it already is. We're going to find our uh, patella itself and um, we're going to find a soft spot right on the lateral side, or on the medial side, right here. And we're going to, um, yeah, those are plateaus basically. Um, on the lateral side and on the medial side. And then to uh, feel our uh, lateral medial femoral condyles, we're gonna have to press down on those plateaus. And on the uh, lateral side right here, we're gonna feel the lateral femoral condyle. And on the medial side right here, we're gonna feel the medial femoral condyle. Okay, next we have the intracondylar notch, which is located between those condyles under the patella. Uh, that's also where um, our PCL and ACL run through. And next we have our intracondylar eminence, which is this, uh, again, it's gonna be under the patella down there, but it's gonna be this little uh, mountain peak um, on top of the plateau itself, under the uh, patella. Okay, so next we have our lateral and medial apocondyles. We went through those when we were doing our uh, MCLs, LCLs, but as a reminder, here is our uh, lateral epicondyle. It's going to be more out. And here is our medial epicondyle. 
Sorry, I can't feel this one. There you go. There it is. <laughs> um, okay, next we're gonna have the patella landmarks. Landmarks. So we have the under the patella itself, we have the patella or the uh, trochanter groove. Uh, that's the groove that patella sits on. And then we have on the bottom here uh, this point called apex of patella, and on the top we have the base of patella. And then finally we have. Um, our medial and lateral facet, both are going to be on the uh, back side of the patella and they're going to be located, the lateral facet is going to be on the lateral side and the medial facet is going to be on the medial side. Next we have our cartilages. Um, we have the articular cartilages both on the femur and the tibia. Um, those are going to provide some uh, cushioning. Uh, we also have our menisci, so we have the medial meniscus uh, and the lateral meniscus uh, both sitting on top of the uh, tibia. The medial meniscus is going to be c-shaped and the lateral meniscus is going to be oval. Uh, and finally we have the two joints. The joint that's commonly known as the knee joint is called uh, tibia um, tibio femoral joint and then the uh, the knee joint that allows movement in the knee is called patellar femoral joint and um, yeah those are all of the knee landmarks